This is quite weird because for whatever reason, while I was making this video, hello and welcome back to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I would like to talk more about camp, discussing how you can adjust camp. Okay, let's talk about camp. What camp is? Clippers, adaptive meshing and purging. Well, what is all of that? Well, if you print a model that's only like 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, camp essentially only probe or only do the bed leveling for that specific area that you are printing. It's not gonna do the whole bed like how it comes stuck with the printers. Another thing that camp has is smart park. The nozzle head park near the part that you are going to print. And it has a smart purging line where it purge right in front of the model that you are trying to print. It purge a thick line which also cleans the nozzle. I've been seeing posts on reddit and on github how they cannot edit or change any files in camp. Camp is locked in the configuration file. This video I will show you the method that I use to get around that and to add a camp to the way of your liking. So let's look at a camp right now. Okay I will be using Orca Slicer. Well first of all you need your 3D printers to be on so let me turn that on. So camp is for rooted 3D printers. I will assume that you already got your printers connected to Orca Slicer or to any web browser that you're using. So in Orca Slicer we will click device and I'm using fluid interface so if you are using Marlin it will be a little bit different but not that much. So where do we get the files from Kemp or any of the files in the printer? On the left hand side here we're gonna go down to these two brackets which is called configuration. Click that. Now it will take you to all the files in your 3D printers. Once you get here, you click helper script, then you see camp. If you install camp while you rooted your printer, you will see a camp folder right there. And as you can see here, camp has a locked in the folder. So if we click that, we're gonna get all the files inside camp. Prusa slicer, if you install that, line purge, adaptive meshing smart park camp settings start print as i see on reddit and github and me myself i was trying to configure start print and stuff like that so it's right here if we click that and we open the file it will bring us to this file of start print from camp and if i try to type something here it says i cannot edit because this is read only so you can't even edit this how do we get around this well, for me, personally, the method I use is I copy all of this all the way up to the start print here. I copy it, I close out of start print, then I go back, go back, all the way to the beginning here. In gcode macro.cfg right here, you would want to open that. Now we are inside the macros that Clipper use. So if we scroll down, it's going to be hard to find. So. Um, you can use on Windows, you can use Control F. What is that? Well, Control F bring up this search bar here. You can search whatever you want here and it will jump right to what you are searching. We are trying to edit start prints. I'm going to type start underscore print. There we go. There's a start print here which is comment out because we installed camp. This start print is the original that comes with the printer so that is comment out which is fine and right here right here is the start print that i got from camp essentially i copy start print from camp and paste it in the g code macro so that it still used the start print but now it can be edited and like i did in the previous video i edit out this line or i comment out this line so that the nozzle does not do the wipe at the back of the printer because I don't like that. You can edit all of these however you want. If you don't want it to do the calibration leveling, you can disable this line. If you don't want the line purge, you can disable this line. You don't want the smart park, you can disable this line. But I don't really recommend commenting those out because those are very useful. Yeah, you can edit however you want now. This is now editable. Okay, so once you got that in here, what you want to do next is go back to helper script. Go right here into camp setting.cfg click that now you have opened camp setting so what i did is right here you need to disable this first line right here if i will uncomment that out it's gonna do the start print from camp itself i haven't tried this but i don't think it's gonna work because it has two 
G-code macro for star print so the printer might not work I have not tested that out yet but I think it's not gonna work the printer's gonna know clipper's gonna know and it will just give you an error until you fix it it will not print anything so that it doesn't get confused with two star print so just comment this out because you already have the star print in your G-code macro if you don't want the adaptive meshing you can just disable this or comment this out um, it's all right here I comment out Prusa Slicer because I don't even use it. I just want it to have there, but I don't use it. If you want to edit more of the camp, you can just get these file, open the file. If the code is a macro, you can edit and then you can test it out with all of these. But I don't really recommend editing any of this because it's a lot. Or you can edit however you want. Maybe you know way more G-code than I do. I don't even know that much G-code at all. <laughs> but yeah, for those of you that are like, why is camp locked? I cannot edit anything in camp. I want to edit this, I want to edit that. Well, now you have a way to do it. This is quite weird because for whatever reason, while I was making this video, I was gonna show you guys that after you change whatever setting you want to, you can come here into your macro, you can click any macro here that you change and you can test it before you start a real print. So let's say you mess with start print, right? You can click start print and then it will do all the start print, all the calibration, all the change that you made. And if that's how you like it, good. Then you can just go on and print. If not, you can go back and edit in the G code macro. But while I was doing that, I came here and for whatever reason, all my macros are gone. I used to have about 80. <laughs> But now there's only 39. I'm not quite sure how that even happened. I was trying to teach you guys something. But I guess I ran into a problem. <laughs> I need to figure this out. Now I'm asking you for help. What happened? What happened to all my macros? Actually, <laughs> not quite sure. I need to sort this out. Um, I don't know. It looks like all the camera stuff are gone. It's gone. The camera setting is actually right here. Is there an update that I did not know? That is pretty much it with this video. That is how you change camp settings. If the files are locked, you just copy it and put it in your printer's file or your G-code macros file and you can edit from there. But for whatever reason, all my G-code macros are gone. <laughs> I gotta figure that out, but that is it. That is how you change camp. That is how you edit camp. Let me know in the comments down below. Is this helpful? If there's a different way that you would do this, you know a way how to edit the G-code and camp in a different way other than how I did today but and also let me know in the comment down below what happened to all my macros right <laughs> I don't even know man but that is it with this video and as always keep on 3d printing